Well, we're not telling you something you don't already know. Our pets are our families, and sometimes we take better care of them than we do of ourselves. And it can be hard, though, when faced with a major health concern like heart failure in a dog or cat. How to know. Dr. Megan Callahan, Medical Director at Veterinary Emergency Group in Tampa, joins us. Good morning. Good morning, Russell. Okay, so heart failure, it's an issue you see in the ER, what, but is there anything leading up to it that you may know something is wrong and something bad is coming? Yes, there is. And I want to start by saying that if your pet is exhibiting any of these symptoms, please contact your vet immediately. If your vet is unavailable, you can call veterinary emergency group and speak with the doctor right away. Okay. Um, animals, especially cats, are great at hiding disease. And so some of the first things that you'll see are frequent coughing. You may or may not see them cough up anything. Um, and they might be pacing and restless, uh, just feeling a little uneasy and a sense of anxiety. And as the disease progresses, you, you'll see trouble breathing, swollen abdomen, as their abdomen can fill with fluid, lethargy weakness um, they might even start fainting or collapsing and you might think it's a seizure so any of these symptoms individually or combined can be an emer a life-threatening emergency I know heart failure is treatable in humans is it treatable in an animal it's manageable in an animal um, if we catch it early enough specifically uh, but it, it's not we don't do heart transplants in animals like we do in people right. so it's something that we can get a hold of but you know ultimately it will be the remainder of the pet's life will be managed medication then you can it is managed with medication Yes, sir. So if we if we do catch it early enough, we can manage it with medication, um, and we do recommend at some point uh, seeing a cardiologist to really identify the the parts of the heart that aren't working appropriately. But I think the one thing that we should point out that all the, the symptoms you you listed earlier, if they're exhibiting any of these, you need to uh, call somebody pretty quickly, right? You don't want you don't want to let this go. Absolutely. The, the longer you let it go, uh, the worse it becomes and the harder it is to actually manage it long term. And uh, the, the later symptoms are associated uh, with more severe disease and, and uh, more mortality. Okay. Doc, thanks. Always good to see you. Appreciate the, uh, Thank you. the good advice this morning. Talk soon, okay? Okay.